What happens when you have non-small cell lung cancer? Lung cancer cases and deaths. Anatomy of non-small cell lung cancer. Risk factors of non-small cell lung cancer. How is non-small cell lung cancer detected? How does lung cancer start? Where does non-small cell lung cancer start? How fast does non-small cell lung cancer spread? Does non-small cell lung cancer spread? Which is worse non-small or small cell lung cancer? What type of lung cancer do smokers get? Can non-small cell lung cancer be cured? Welcome to Full Body Health. In this video we will discuss about non-small cell lung cancer. What happens when you have non-small cell lung cancer? Non-small cell lung cancer includes any type of epithelial lung cancer that is not small cell lung cancer. The most common non-small cell lung cancer kinds are squamous cell carcinoma, large cell carcinoma, and adenocarcinoma. But other less common types exist, and all may have unusual histologic variations. Although non-small cell lung cancer are linked to cigarette smoke, adenocarcinomas may occur in non-smokers. Non-small cell lung cancer are less responsive to chemotherapy and radiation than small cell lung cancer. Patients with resectable disease may be cured by surgery or surgery followed by chemotherapy. Radiation treatment may manage unresectable cancer in many patients, although cures are rare. Radiation treatment and chemotherapy may prolong life in patients with locally advanced unresectable cancer. Chemotherapy, targeted medicines, and other supportive treatments may improve survival and symptoms in patients with advanced metastatic illness. Lung cancer cases and deaths. Non-small cell lung cancer and small cell lung cancer new cases and deaths in the United States in 2021. New cases are 235,760 and 131,880 deaths. Lung cancer is the leading cause of death from cancer in the U.S. From 2010 to 2016, the five-year relative survival rate for lung cancer patients was 21%. The five-year relative survival rate for patients, diagnosed at local stage, 59%, regional stage, 32%, or distant stage, 6%. Anatomy of non-small cell lung cancer. Non-small cell lung cancer arises from the epithelial cells of the lung of the central bronchi to terminal alveoli. The histological type of non-small cell lung cancer reflects the diversity in respiratory epithelium from bronchi to alveoli. Squamous cell carcinoma usually starts near a central bronchus. Adenocarcinoma and bronchioalveolar carcinoma usually originate in peripheral lung tissue. Risk factors of non-small cell lung cancer. Increasing age is the most important risk factor for most cancers. Other risk factors for lung cancer include the following. History of or current tobacco use, cigarettes, pipes, and cigars. Exposure to cancer-causing substances in secondhand smoke. Occupational exposure to asbestos, arsenic, chromium, beryllium, nickel, and other agents. Radiation exposure from any of the following. Radiation therapy to the breast or chest. Radon exposure in the home or workplace. Medical imaging tests, such as computed tomography, CT, scans. Atomic bomb radiation. Living in an area with air pollution. Family history of lung cancer. Human immunodeficiency virus, HIV, infection. Beta carotene supplements in heavy smokers. The single most important risk factor for the development of lung cancer is smoking. For smokers, the risk of lung cancer is on average tenfold higher than in lifetime non-smokers. The risk increases with the quantity of cigarettes, duration of smoking, and starting age. If you want to know about symptoms of lung cancer, please click this i button and watch. How is non-small cell lung cancer detected? If your doctor suspects you have lung cancer, will recommend imaging tests such as computed tomography, CT, scans, positron emission tomography, PET, scans, or magnetic resonance imaging, MRI, scans. To detect abnormalities in and around your lungs. Your doctor may also request a sample of your mucus to be examined under a microscope by a pathologist. If these first tests reveal the presence of cancer, a lung biopsy may be performed. How does lung cancer start? Lung cancer begins when abnormal cells in the lung grow out of control, resulting in the formation of tumors. 
they have the ability to spread and create tumors in nearby tissues. Depending on where it starts, lung cancer may spread to any region of the respiratory system. Cancer cells have the ability to spread, or metastasis, to lymph nodes and other organs throughout the body. Where does non-small cell lung cancer start? Non-small cell lung cancer develops at the cellular level, as do other cancers, and causes abnormal cells in the lungs, to grow fast and out of control. Non-small cell lung cancer are carcinomas, which are cancers of the cells that line the surface of the lung's airways. They are the most common kind of lung cancer. The bronchi, bronchioles, and alveoli are examples of such structures. How fast does non-small cell lung cancer spread? Non-small cell lung cancer had an average doubling time of 191 days, with non-small cell tumors developing, at a significantly slower rate than small cell lung cancer. People who smoked, had tumors that multiplied more quickly, than those who had never smoked or who had stopped smoking, according to the study results. Does non-small cell lung cancer spread? Once cancer cells enter the bloodstream, they have the ability to spread, to any part of the body. However, non-small cell lung cancer is more likely to spread to the brain, bones, liver, and adrenal glands. Which is worse non-small or small cell lung cancer? There are several forms of cancer, and some are more aggressive than others. But small cell lung cancer is often more aggressive than non-small cell lung cancer. What type of lung cancer do smokers get? Smokers are more likely to develop a kind of non-small cell lung cancer, known as squamous cell carcinoma, which accounts for more than half of lung cancers diagnosed in smokers. Non-smokers, on the other hand, are more likely to be diagnosed with adenocarcinoma, which is a type of non-small cell lung cancer. Can non-small cell lung cancer be cured? Current therapies for non-small cell lung cancer do not cure the disease in the majority of cases. If lung cancer is found, taking part in one of the many clinical studies that are being done to improve treatment options should be looked into. Certain treatments, on the other hand, may help to reduce the symptoms and even extend a person's life. Please share your opinion about non-small cell lung cancer in comments and subscribe. Thanks for watching.